I've been asked the question, do you always have to carry out a radio signal strength survey when designing wireless fire alarms? When designing a wireless fire alarm system, some will say it is crucial that you should always carry out a radio signal strength survey. I would agree that carrying out such a survey is important. However, if you have installed many wireless fire alarm systems, such as we have, and understand the equipment you are installing, it is not always necessary. As you can appreciate, there is a cost with regards to time and travelling expense if it is your intention to carry out a radio signal strength survey on every job you quote. Plus, if you carry out a survey properly, a system with, say, about 40 devices will take you about half a day, with no guarantee that you will secure the order. However, if you have a limited knowledge installing wireless fire alarms, then you really have no choice but to attend the site and carry out a survey, because the cost of installing a poorly designed wireless fire alarm can be costly. You may have to add additional equipment after you've provided the cost, which is no good for you or your client. I have designed and quoted many wireless fire alarms from drawings and without having to go to site. And I am able to do this because we specialise in wireless fire alarm systems and therefore have that experience to design a system according to the structure and the layout of the building. The radio signal strength survey kit shown in this video is the hi fire. The hi fire range of equipment can be installed on the Kentec and Advanced Fire Alarm Control Panels with Argos Protocol. The hi fire range allows you to have both wired and wireless fire detection on the same circuit. Due to our independence, we are able to select the best wireless fire alarm manufacturer in accordance with the requirements of the project and the budget available. This may be Hi Fire, EMS, Detectomat, EDA, or Fullion. As you can appreciate, all the different manufacturers will have advantages and disadvantages according to what is required. We also carry out fire alarm servicing on all types of fire alarm systems. A survey kit usually consists of the radio hub unit that is to be placed in the position of the fire alarm control panel or booster and the detector device. This unit is to be positioned in the locations of the detector, manual call point or sounder. By reviewing the readings on the handheld device, you are able to ascertain if the panel and the device in the allocated position are able to communicate together within the parameters set out by the panel manufacturers. However, you will always have to carry out a radio signal strength survey on some buildings, no matter how experienced you are. Buildings such as churches, buildings with thick walls or solid thick concrete floors, heavy metal structural beams or walls with a sheet layer of some form of metallic coating. All these things will restrict the power of the radio signal and careful planning is required. Nevertheless, wireless fire alarms can be installed in such buildings, hence the reason why it is important that the fire alarm company that is installed in your system has the required experience and expertise. We have systems in churches and similar construction with no problems. The obvious easy buildings to design are buildings with open, planned areas, wooden construction, standard partitioning, um, buildings with accessible shafts and voids. Furthermore, one has to remember, even if you carry out a detailed radio signal strength survey, you cannot guarantee to achieve all the readings as per the survey. The survey will only give you a guide. The true radio signal strengths are only known when all the wireless fire alarm equipment is installed and the signal strength readings are taken from the panel, radio hub or a device such as the translator. If you need any more information regarding wireless fire alarms and the signal strength surveys, why not contact our office on 020